Okay. Well, I did not get the job in New York, but I got the real prize, domestic bliss. Jan made me breakfast this morning. Well, she bought the milk. It's soy. This is why I do it. That's what I have to come home to. She probably won't be up for a few hours. This is going to be a very good year. Very good. Jan is at home. Jim is back. My protege Ryan is at corporate. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some chips. You want some? No, thanks. Uh, we're still having lunch today, right? I guess. How dare you? Hey, Toby. What's this? Oh. I just want to remind everyone about the company rules involving PDA, or public displays of affection. Yes, uh, some people in the office have complained oh, really? about some other people engaging in PDA. And, you know, just want to remind it's not appropriate to, to do that. This is about me and Jan in my office, because I will have you know that that was consensual. What we did has nothing to do with you or anyone here. I don't think, her, I don't think anyone heard anything. We were very discreet. And, and I, most people had left by that point. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't think it's any of your business. So what I think you should do is roll up the memo real tight. Okay, hey, look, the memo is not about you. For the record, I have never been involved with anyone at work in any capacity. All right, everyone, look. It, all right, the complaint was about Jim and Pam. So. No way. What? You guys are together? Um... Yep. Yes, we are. Whoa! Wow! Dude, huh? Awesome! I knew it. To the two of you. Yes! Yes! Toby, was this your fun little way of congratulating us? Yes. Oh, okay. Mind is exploding. Get over here. Come on. Come here. Okay. Okay, stand up. Okay, here we go. Everyone, this is a day that will live in infamy because today is the day that Jim and Pam become one. Actually, we've been dating for a couple months. I love you guys oh. so much. Oh! Phone's ring. No, no, no. Pam, let them ring. Let the bells of Dunder Mifflin chime out your love because this is really good. This is really good. My heart soars with the eagle's nest. I don't see it. I think they both could do better. It's not a surprise to me. Pam is the office mattress. Jim Halpert's off the market. Guess who just became the best looking single guy in the office? And the same thing goes for quarterly reports. They are unreadable. They're just numbers and boring and black. So what I was thinking is that maybe we should have some sort of graphic, like if we have a bad quarter, put in a storm cloud. And when we have a good quarter, fireworks or a race car. Doesn't have to be a race car. Use your imagination. There's this cube on the screen. It bounces around all day. And sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen. And then at the last minute, it hits a wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Pam claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the conference room. Okay. <laughs> I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Who said I didn't see it? Did Jim say that I didn't see it? I saw it. We have a lot of colored paper here. Why, oh, why do we keep printing this on white? No, oh, come on! Yeah, I know. I know, it's bland. It's never gonna happen. Dude, Dude here's what I was you gotta believe. Maybe we could have some sort of riddle. Wait for it. Like, 
something that you have to look for. Sort of a where's Waldo? Oh! <laughs> All right, all right, let's quit while we're ahead. That was so awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Some days I am just on fire. Why don't I say? <laughs> Coat! Michael just rented the Devil Wears Prada. He has his Netflix sent here to the office and he watches them in pieces when things are slow. Steak! Where's my steak? He's a big Meryl Streep fan, so I shouldn't be surprised that he's identified with her character. Get me Armani. A suit? On the phone. Like the main company number? Because I'm going to have to call information. Where's Armani? He's on the phone. Too slow. You're not going to Paris. I'm so much better than you are. I owe you an apology. You finished the movie. Yeah, it was awesome. Big surprise ending. Won't ruin it for you. No, go ahead. Meryl Streep is the bad guy. You never see it coming. Anyway, if I was mean in any way to you, I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, Manushka. Makushla, he's watching Million Dollar Baby. He's gonna try to kill me. Dunder Mifflin, this is Rolando. Oh yeah, she's been expecting your call. Yeah. Karen? He's on line one. Thanks, Ray. Hey, we finally connected, how's Scranton? I am the regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Utica branch. Turns out it's a pretty easy gig when your boss isn't an idiot and your boyfriend's not in love with somebody else. Look, all I'm saying is it would be a great opportunity and we'd love to have you come aboard. So think about it, okay? Okay, bye. Look, for the record, a certain Scranton salesman approached me, okay? Wow. This is perfect. He looks like your twin. This is a dummy a la Ferris Bueller's day off. We have tied a string to the wrist which goes to the door. When somebody opens the door, the hand goes down, hits the remote, turns on the tape recorder, which is me snoring. <laughs> now, nobody knows whether I am here or whether I am gone. I will know. But you will not tell anyone. No, we'll need to because we'll be together playing hooky. Well, yeah. Sometimes, most of the time, I will be with Ryan or Daryl. Yes. Oh, good, good, Stanley. First victim, this is what I want you to do. Go out, come back in. We're gonna hide. I want you to tell me if this looks like me, okay? I don't understand why sleeping at your desk is better than you not being Just here. Just go out and come back in. I got an offer from Utica for more money, and I'm gonna take it. What? I really didn't think I was gonna have a good time, but I did, I totally did. I love camping. Anything can happen. Oh, it wasn't camping, it was more of a wilderness retreat. Morning, Michael. Ryan invited some of the branch managers and Toby into the woods for a get to know you weekend. Michael wasn't invited. Apparently they already knew everything they needed to know about him. Did you sleep in cabins? Under the stars. It was really beautiful. You should have come. Bob and I took rock climbing lessons once. <laughs> Michael wasn't invited on Ryan's camping trip. Toby went. But Michael didn't go. He wasn't invited. Who went? Me, Dan from Buffalo, Mark Chisholm, Jack from Albany, and Ryan, obviously. We had so many s'mores, I finally had to say, no more s'mores. No more <laughs> s'mores. <laughs> Ryan invited me to go on his wilderness adventure retreat. It was this amazing, beautiful experience. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I need that room at some point, so just wrap it up. Michael wasn't invited.